had memories brought back to me that are so profound and mean so very much to me. And, uh, you know, like, I was talking to uh, someone out here about the Pink Panther, and uh, had such great relationships out of that picture, you know, with David Niven and with Peter. We were all great friends in Capucine. And uh, the moments at uh, Blake Edwards, and uh, you know, the, those, those times together are what are memorable to me because when you do a picture, you know, film, you can see through it. It's like smoke, you know? And you do the, it, it's, it's a moment, and it can be very great, but it's gone, you know, or it can be a, a film that really holds up and stays up there, you know? If you have one of those, you're lucky in your career, you know, very lucky. Do you, do you now, at this time of your life, do you try to, do you hang on to friendships? Do you hang on to those relationships that mattered so much that the people, fortunately, they're still with us? Yes, I do. Well, that's uh -huh. good. Yes, I do very much. I'm, uh, I've got some great friends. I've made some great friends out of this work, and uh, it's been so wonderful to me. I always wanted to be in the movies from the time that I was a kid, and I was very fortunate that I, what I wanted to do happened happened for me in my heart, my soul. And uh, it's just been absolutely, I've been so fortunate and so blessed uh, over my lifetime. And uh, it's just a privilege for me to be a part of this. And it's a privilege for me to be here with all of you and have your interest and want to see a picture like this. And, you know, come and see me when I were signing those books, you know, people were saying to me, you know, so happy to see me and over the years, you know, it's an extraordinary, extraordinary feeling. And I thank you. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. I think, uh, I think sometimes it's difficult uh, having known as, as many legends uh, as been in my life. It's, not as many as yours, but a lot, a lot of legends. I don't think a lot of those actors have that same feeling as you were lucky enough to have. I think some of the actors, as they grow older, they tended to become some, sometimes sad, sometimes regretful, sometimes they missed so much. But I think you have really hung on to what really mattered to you, and you still let it matter to you today. I think that's what makes the difference. And you've also hung on to the one thing that today's stars don't have, and that's style. And you write about that. And you write. <laughs> but I mean, you write about that in your book, and you, but you live what you write. Uh, and I don't think a lot of actors, I, I haven't seen too many actors, so I can't think of one who has, a, I can't think of one, I mean, Carl, tell me if I'm wrong, is there one male actor today that has a s style like, like you have maintained, or like Gary Cooper had, or Fred Astaire had, or Gene Kelly? They're just, times have changed. Yeah, I think they have, but I was, thank you for all those things that you said. Sure. I, um, but I was brought up on those guys, you know? I was brought up on, Gary Cooper and Clark Gable and Cary Grant and Fred Astaire. What a break. What a wonderful opportunity. I mean, I was so lucky, so fortunate. And uh, they made some great pictures. God, they were so good, those guys. They were such marvelous actors. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have, to the young, I know there are a lot of young people that come to these festivals too. Do you have something you'd like to, to say to them, uh, leave with them about why it's important to, to remember this? As your book says, you just have to remember this. Oh, I don't know this. Do you know, I just think the most important thing, I mean, there's so many things in life that are so important to all of us, but you know, when you really can kind of make it kind of simple, I think 
think you're going to have a lot of imagination. And you're going to have a lot of... And you're kind of going to look at it and say, hey, there is another moment. There is another time. Just take a little deep breath in for a second and say, hey, maybe I can do that. Maybe I can make that. Maybe I can be that. I don't know, you know, my daughter just had a child and uh, I think that's probably the most important thing in life, you know, to be there for them for that child at that moment, at that time, to be able, and only, only the, the mother can do it, you know, to be there for them. And I, I look at them and I think, God, isn't that amazing? I mean, because that is what life is all about. And, and if you can take that in to yourself and have it be something that you can hold within your within your heart within your soul. I think that's just important. That's to me is what's I think what you did. take away yeah. from all of that uh, which leads me to something were any of you here for Shirley Jones last week? Because we did something um, we did something with Shirley which we're gonna, I'm going to do with you. That's what these little pieces are. Before. Good God, when are they going to run the movie? <laughs> and then, see, we're getting a light, so I'm almost done. See, so he's getting nervous now. But this is great. This is great. We did this with Shirley, and it, does the movie he's know? nervous. I love it. It's fun. Do you know who Marcel Proust is? Yes. And Marcel Proust... Do I have to answer the, something about that? You have that? to pick a question and answer it right. Marcel Proust wrote a series of questions, and this is what you were just talking about, what matters. And he wrote a series of questions that would, if we were to answer them honestly, and the first thing that comes to our head, it gives away a little bit about who we really are. So will you answer whatever question you chose honestly and truthfully? Shirley Jones was fantastic at doing this. <laughs> so I don't want to put you on the spot, but are you gonna make up a question or are you gonna <laughs> That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Okay, choose another one. <laughs> He'll hit one. So a man goes to a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> and he has his physical for the year. And he says, uh, after, the, after the physical examination, he comes out of the office and he comes out of this, yeah, you know, the room. And, and the doctor says, uh, you know, Herb, after looking at all of your, the charts on you and everything and all of your tests, he said, you are in great shape. You're in fantastic, fantastic shape. But he said, what you need to do in your life is to have more sex. And he says, uh-huh, okay. He says, Herb, when was the last time you had sex? And he says, I don't know. He said, well, call your wife, dial your wife, and ask her. So he dials his wife, and she answers the phone, and he says, honey, <clears throat> when was the last time we had sex? And she said, who is this? <laughs> What is the quality that you most like in a woman? Oh, good question. Did you hear that, guys? Jesus. Um, I, uh, I love humor, you know, and uh, women have great humor. And uh, I like that. And I also, you know, I mean, women make it happen. You know, women, the love, the romance, the whole thing, you know, they make it happen. I don't want to call a woman up and have her 
per se, who is this? <laughs> I just happened to think of that. I yeah. <laughs> well, you have made it happen, let me just say that, for not only a lot of women sitting out here, but also a lot of men. I think you're one of the actors who crosses crosses over. The men probably wanted to be you and the women wanted to yeah, to be with you. <laughs> <laughs> right, ladies? No, I'm not making this up. No, did you pick another question? Yeah, what is I did. It? Okay. Who made up these questions? Marcel Proust. Go ahead. So now he's into it. Okay, you are liking it. Go ahead. What do you consider your most overrated virtue? Oh, good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jesus, I never thought about that. Um, I don't know. You don't have any? You, all of your virtues are good. You don't have any? No, I mean, I don't, uh, I have never really thought, I, I never See, thought. a provocative question, that's why. We, yeah, know. but I mean, did uh, Shirley Jones have to answer these questions? <laughs> she did. Did she get that question? She did get that question. Shirley Jones, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's my last question. <laughs> she was great though. She, she got very serious about her question. But if Hollywood. Oh, he's into this. Go ahead. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's just one. I don't want to do that. Only had to do one. Only had to do one. You would. You, you do. But here's the last question. If Hollywood was golden then, what is it now? What is it now? If Hollywood was golden then, those were the golden days. What would you call the days now? Well, everything has changed so much in our lifetime. Isn't it amazing? I mean, last night you and I were talking about the fact that you can take a photograph and send it to someone and they get it in five seconds. That, that wasn't even heard of five years ago, three years ago, I don't think. Uh, technology has changed so much for all of us. Um, and the corporate influence that has come in because Hollywood is a gigantic industry and uh, that produces a kind of a different kind of behavior in the sense that there's a lot of committee decisions that are made and I don't feel that our work and our desires as to what we want as creative people can have that much influence by other people because usually it's the individual that believes in something and they take the script and they take the idea and they believe in the actors, they believe in the director and they do it. And when you have committees come in and start to make decisions, it's, uh, it's an intrusion, I feel. So that's how I feel that, that it's changed. I mean, not completely because there are still people who are making wonderful, wonderful pictures and they put things together that are great, but it takes them a long time to do it. So, so keep it personal and let's keep the magic because that's what he created. And so he's going to create a little bit more of that for you now in a kiss before dying. And so you must still like it when it's over, okay? <laughs> so thank you, Robert. Thank you all. Thanks very much. Thank you, Karen. Thank you for Thank you for arranging all of this, for me to be here at this wonderful My festival, pleasure. to meet all of these wonderful people, and thank you so much for being here today. Well, they are thrilled that you're here. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.